Welcome to uh, Advisory 5 from Mythic Explorer Cyclonic Minutes here on Tropical Storm Anna, midnight on the East Coast. It is 4 UTC. Um, its current position is 33.2 north, 78.3 west, with a wind speed of 60 miles an hour, and the pressure is now down to 1,000 millibars. This is about 50 miles south southeast. South, east southeast of Myrtle Beach, where it is currently a tropical storm on the Cypress Simpson scale, and the CDPS rating continues to drop as Anna's moon field continues to shrink and it continues to gain forward speed. It's now a stage 3 on the CDPS. Here's its track, and it's expected to make landfall within 12 hours here on the South Carolina and North Carolina border as those tracks continue to shift further east. If we take a look at the models now, the GFS model still taking it in west here in the South Carolina, um, making landfall south of Myrtle Beach, which is much to the west of where the NHC forecast is now. As we take a look at the ECMWF, it is pretty much right on with the NHC forecast as it's expected to make landfall South Carolina, North Carolina border. The ECMWF takes in just west of that. And the storm is not put putting around on the ECMWF either. And in fact, none of the three models now show the storm put putting around. And the NAM model, you would think that it takes it in the furthest east. Now all of a sudden, the NAM model takes it in the furthest west the furthest south and west as it takes it in south and west of Myrtle Beach, which means Myrtle Beach could experience uh, 45 to 50 mile an hour winds, which may be a slight bit of a concern, actually. Switching back, here is, well, going back to the visible imagery. Although the sun has now set on the east coast, you can see that the center of the cyclone is now surrounded by what appears to be thunderstorm tops. As we take a look at the Dvoric scale, the 2.0 and 3.0 clouds have almost wrapped their way around the center, which would suggest a 60 mile per hour storm, but it's probably a little bit weaker than that. As we take a look at sea surface temperatures, and for a tropical storm, they are not so great 23 to 25 degrees centigrade water. Uh, where it was, but now it's starting to move into 20 centigrade water, maybe even a bit colder than that. As we take a look at the wind shear map, the wind shear is moderate but steady. So that's not planning on increasing. As far as the water vapor imagery is concerned, it doesn't appear to be doing much. The moisture seems to actually be coming into the system. The dry air really isn't affecting it as much. So the main points are, and it's still steady with 60 mile per hour winds and appears to be on a weakening trend, which hopefully continues. Landfall is expected within the next 12 hours. Wind and storm surge continues to be a minor concern, and heavy rainfall is now starting to come inland over south and north Carolina. Two to four inches is expected with locally six in places that get the heavy wind bands within the next 48 hours. Uh, one more thing I did forget to cover. The Tropical Storm Watch from Edisto Beach to South Santee River has been discontinued. Tropical warning, storm warnings are still in effect from South Santee River, South Carolina to Cape Lookout, North Carolina. Elsewhere in the world, and I just got done with an update on this, ty Super Typhoon Newell has winds of 160 miles an hour and is only a couple of hours away from its closest approach or potential landfall in northeastern Luzon. It's a CDPS rating of 41, which is very similar to what Ivan had when it made landfall in the U.S. in 2004. Tropical Storm Dolphin has also weakened down to 40 miles per hour with a CDPS rating of now just 10 due to an increase in forward motion. The next update will be, of course, midday, and we'll see you then.